Angular Elements is about providing web components, which are framework independent components. You can write them once and reuse them everywhere. First of all, I will show you some basics to get everyone into the boat. And then we will talk about dynamically adding elements as well as lazy loading them. And then we will try to push the border of what's currently supported. We will try to use external elements. And I will also talk about the most important topic here, it's bundle size. So Angular Elements is just about wrapping Angular components. That means you take an ordinary Angular component, you call this function here, this function create, uh, called create custom element, and this function exposes a custom element. That means your Angular component goes in, the custom element goes out. And then you can register this custom element with this browser API called custom elements define, and now the browser can just render your component. So now let's talk about the first advanced topic. Let's talk about dynamic elements. But the nice thing about elements is that the browser treats them exactly like baked in elements. So you can use the same API to create your own custom element. In this case, it is a dashboard tile. Then you can use the same old API to define properties, to define attributes, to hook up event listeners, and finally you can add it to another element so it gets displayed. Let's go one step further. Let's talk about lazy loading. So normally, when we talk about lazy loading, we are talking about lazy loading routes. But here it is not about routes, here it is just about lazily loading a component. And this can be done in two steps. First of all, you have to register your module with the lazy component in your Angular JSON, and then you can use the ng-module factory loader to load it just on demand. As this module is providing custom elements, I can use them immediately just by leveraging the document object we have seen before. It is really as easy as that. Without custom elements, this is far more difficult. Without custom elements, we would now have to leverage some low-level APIs of Angular. But here we are good to go, just use the document object. Let's talk about external elements. This is where I try to push the limitations of things that are possible or at least official supported nowadays. So when I speak about external elements, it is about having a first project with some custom elements, your widgets or your things you need for your design system. Then I want to compile those elements to a bundle. And after that, I want to reuse this bundle with several other projects by loading it. First of all, we needed to create an own application that just contains the custom elements. And then we have to compile everything to a self-contained bundle. And this bundle can then be loaded into our consuming application. I'm just calling it the consumer here. So what we need is some way to get just one bundle. When it comes to script loading, there are several script loaders out there. Here you see the most simple one. It is just creating a script deck in a dynamic fashion. 